97, 98, 99, 100. Oh, right, so, just done 100 press ups there. A uh, good question I got was uh, why did I get fat in the first place? Between at uh, the time when I did my intensive weight loss, going from obese down to uh, ripped, um, why did I get fat after that? It's a good, valid question, good question. Um, so I went from, I was around about 35% body fat. I was, I was a fat popo. Um, and over a period of about six months, I, uh, through intermittent fasting, through heavy weight training, through uh, high intensity interval training, I got my weight down to uh, just under 80 kilograms, which was quite a feat. And I got stronger and I got fitter and I got healthier during this time as well. Um, it was great. However, what it was, was intensive. Uh, it was a period of my life before I had children, before I was married, um, before my back uh, blew out, and I was able to dedicate a, a serious amount of my time in my life to exercise and health and weight loss. Uh, it, it, was a, it was a focus, it was a goal that I was having. And I went, um, I was going to the gym every morning before work. I was going to the gym several days after work as well. And uh, with that, you have fantastic results. Um, just now, uh, but then what happened is afterwards, I was like, cool, I got my six pack abs, I feel great. And I had them for a while, um, but to keep them, to keep myself at that leanness, required a lot of effort um, and a lot of dedication. And it's kind of one of those things is like, hey, I've done it, I've got here, let's just enjoy it for a while. So there'd be maybe some more, I'd be socializing more, drinking more with my friends, maybe I'd treat myself to a couple more chocolate bars a week kind of stuff. And, and what you get is this thing called the slow creep. Well, hmm, interesting about that. Uh, the slow creep where you slowly put weight back on. So it literally tiny behavioural um, changes each day of maybe like one day you're like, for lunch I'll add a chocolate bar to my, to my meal deal. Um, and then maybe that becomes a regular thing that you, every, that you do every day. Instead of before it might have been a, a bag of nuts kind of stuff. And then a couple of months later you're like, oh, before I go home I'd like another packet of crisps or something like that and so these what happens you have these small behavioral changes that build up over time until two years later you may still be going to the gym twice a day or whatnot but you are then still having maybe two chocolate bars a day another packet of crisps and maybe drinking a whole pile of chocolate milk and that's one of the things i say about a diet a diet if you're going on a diet the goal of a diet is not necessary to lose weight. A losing weight should be a positive outcome from going on a diet. Going on a diet should be a way for you to take control of your potentially unconscious eating habits and eating routines, routines that you have um, and to actually just suddenly take mental control of what you're eating, when you're eating and how you're eating and the reasons why you're eating as well. So, so many people just eat because oh, it's lunchtime, I need to eat might not even be hungry. Uh, or a lot of people's, people's hunger are based on the fact that, well, everyone else is eating, so I must be hungry, I must eat as much as what everyone else is having. So yeah, the, the slow creep over a couple of years helped me gain some weight um, back on again. I went up to about uh, nine, uh, well, no, about 89 kilograms, just now back down to 81. So I've lost eight kilograms uh, in body weight in the last uh, about two, three months now. Again, through intermittent fasting, through also, for me, I, uh, I'm really into my exercise and I had a herniated disc in my back, so I couldn't do any exercise, couldn't do any running, couldn't do any weightlifting. I, I still have that in my back, so I can't do any weightlifting, uh, but I can do a little bit of running, a little bit of jogging, a little bit of uphill running, that's the kind of best thing. And recently I started doing some skipping as well. Like speed rope work, fantastic for whole body conditioning there. So with more intermittent fasting, and more control of my unconscious eating habits, and more like, oh, oh, it's, it's, it's dinner time. I'll just, I'll just have a couple of crisps with my meal. You're like, no, why would I have that? Um, then I am losing weight quite happily, quite steadily, and not too difficultly either. Either. So yeah, that's why I gain my weight, and that's how I'm losing my weight. You just gotta have a goal and be conscious of what you're eating, when you're eating, how you're eating and the exercise that you are and are not able to do.